Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Friday after a long week for us, and we're going to start pulling What's Sold for us today. Hey guys, I do want to thank some people who bought us coffees. Uh, Pat bought us three said, I wanted you to know you are the reason I started selling on Poshmark. I'll be using your code when I start list perfectly. Thank you both so much. Awesome. Make sure Reese gets his pup cup. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't get one today. No. Get one tomorrow, okay? You get a pup Easy cup tomorrow. A belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, thank you so much yes, for that thank support. You, Pat. And then Joy bought us two coffees and said, thank you for the spreadsheet. I've been needing something like this. I enjoy your channel as well. So thank you so much, Joy. Awesome, Joy. Thank you so much for that support. We appreciate it. And then Sophia bought us two said, thanks for your videos. I learned something new each time. Please give Reese a little pat on the head for me. <laughs> You're getting all the Reesey. attention this morning, Reese Bear. Here's your head pat. He's a good boy. He's the goodest of boys. You think that trash can fell I'm getting... <laughs> it is warm up here. <laughs> the problem with our house is because this is a loft, so like the all the heat comes right up here <laughs> so we we do often get comments like you know we'll say it's like five degrees out and our windows open it's because all the heat comes right up here which yep. kind of stinks but <laughs> um yeah yep <laughs> all right we will just jump into pulling we had a good amount come in throughout the night compared to the last two days anyways yeah Alright, so this is a kids mini Bowden like swim set. This was my son's. I bought it straight from Bowden, although I know I got it on a sale and probably with one of their $15 coupons. So I'm gonna say I'm breaking close to even. Someone offered me $25 and I accepted, so I'm making $20 back on that. Okay. And he went up many times to swim lessons, so definitely got our money's worth. This is another. Uh, this is another one of our kids' is Vineyard Vines button ups. Again, I don't remember where we bought it, but sold it for $17.36 plus shipping. Usually, if I buy them these shirts, I try to stay under 18 total. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably, again, bringing close to either. Yeah. Oh, I haven't said how we're shipping. So the mini Bowden was on Posh. Let's just do that. Actually, let's do one in the foldy boxes. A foldy box. I know there's some in there. <laughs> in here? I don't uh, think so. Right here. I've used them all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there you are, not in the space I put you. But apparently Chris never moves anything, so I don't know. Must have been a ghost that did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the other one we will do the unicorn miller. All righty. Then DA. So this person bought two shoes. Um, they bought them in separate transactions and then I had already printed the label on the first before I realized. And yes, I could go back and cancel the label and eBay will reimburse me and everything. But I was just like, I'll just, I tried to figure out the price difference. Yeah. It was only like a couple bucks. And at that point, the time it would take me to cancel and then redo and then type right. the tracking in both would be too much of a hassle, so I just am sending them separately. So let me pull the other one really quick. Uh, CQ. Alright, and they didn't say they're a viewer, but it just makes me feel like they're a viewer, maybe, because they bought two. And also, I noticed they have zero feedback, which to me... I don't know, someone with zero feedback coming to buy two random things from our shop. Right. It just makes me feel like it's a viewer. So if you are, Riley, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the first one was these narrow, just like a slip-on mock. I really love these, the color, like the rust color. Uh, these I did pay $10.99 for and sold them for $34.76 plus shipping. And then the others were these Dansko suede sneakers. I have $8.96 into these and sold them for $37 plus shipping. So. Awesome. Yeah, so again, those are going separately. They'll each go in a shoe box. They were just slightly too large to go in pattern flat rates, so. So Riley, if you do happen to be a viewer, we yeah. do appreciate that support. All right. So, AT. Where am I? Oh. <laughs> AT. Uh, this is a man's Hurley shirt. I liked the pineapple print. 
I bought this retail arbitrage for seven just a couple days ago and sold it for $21.71 plus shipping, so netting about $10 profit there. Cool. Maybe close to 11 So yeah, not bad. That's going first class. Shipping in the house, snow mailer. Hey, hanging. This is another retail arbitrage item bought that same day. All right. So, yeah, this is um something I just randomly took a chance on because I don't know. <laughs> it just looked like <laughs> a nice jacket. Um, I saw that it said Polar Tech on the fleece and whatnot. I looked up comps on eBay, but there really wasn't like any. There was one that had sold a pre-owned like fleece for like 60 something dollars, I want to say, plus shipping. So you can see this was 29 clearance mm. out. So I was like, I could at least probably double my, if a pre-owned one sold for that much, I could probably get at least the same or more for this. So right. it'd be almost doubling. So I took a chance cause I was like, why not learn a new brand? And I'm glad I did. It sold in like two days for $156.56 plus shipping, so. Very nice. Yeah, and what brand. was the brand on that again? Black Crows. Black so. Crows, so not a brand we're familiar with, yeah. but now we're gonna be on the lookout for it, right? Yeah, when I looked it up just on Google, it seemed like it retailed for around $229, I think. Okay. So it, it kind of reminded me like of a Patagonia, like a, just a really nice quality fleece, so. Yeah. So yeah, very happy with that. Don't worry, I will take the tag off it yeah. before we send it, but that, <laughs> It's over a pound, obviously can't fit in a padded flat rate. So I did a two pound label, although I don't think I have enough room for a box. Like enough weight. Oh, enough weight yeah, under the so two we'll pounds. Probably just double double bag, it. double mailer. These large ones. Yeah. And I think someone's asked where we got these large ones from. We did get them from Amazon. I don't think I have a dedicated link for them yet but if i remember i'll try to add that in there if you guys are interested in these these big poly mailers yeah i can't remember if add, like every yeah i know our amazon links are sad these days but some of you guys still click <laughs> on them so thank you for that yeah um, i think the most thing that people are interested in are the clear bags the cellophane bags yeah also on there those ones should be linked although yeah. they sometimes sell out of the exact ones and then you they'll change the size them. on them so if you are looking at the cellophane yeah. bags make sure you're getting the size and i do have the sizes that we use written yeah. next to the links in our description so we use a few but yeah yeah make sure you don't get like six by something because those are very yeah small, unless you're doing like jewelry or something very small right like that so all right and yeah the amazon links um, it's just a nice way to support the channel. You don't. It's I mean, no cost, no it's additional no cost, cost to you, right. like other than what you buy, which could be something or nothing regarding what we've even put on there. Like, yeah, like it could just be. Oh, you're just gonna go buy your. I don't know patio set for the yeah. summertime or whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, uh, I was looking through it yesterday. I think. And somebody bought a tonneau cover for their truck. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> the link, which was like 500 bucks. So whoever, whoever that was, yeah, thank you so thank much. You. That I, it didn't cost them any extra. And I don't know how much they gave us, but it's just a little bit of a kickback for yeah. shopping through our link. So. Yeah, and I like whenever I'm shopping, especially a big purchase, I try to think of who do I like yeah. watching on YouTube or Wanna on Instagram. I just go click through their Amazon link because if nothing, they get... Mm -hmm. A very small amount, but still something. <laughs> it's like one or two up, percent. So, yeah. It's different based on different categories. Yeah, it's, so. it's impossible to know what exactly they're going to get, but yeah, but we appreciate it when you absolutely. Guys do that. So, uh, I did sell these cute little native narwhal shoes. Um, these sat around a while, I think, just because I listed them kind of the wrong time of year. Um, so I did have them on best offer and got a best offer of 19, which I accepted. Buyer paid shipping as well. I did pay 5.99 for these, so only about a 10 dollar profit there, which. I would have picked up even knowing that's how much they were going to sell for, but I thought I could get closer to 25, which I probably could have if I just waited a little longer. Yeah. But I'm okay getting a $10 profit <laughs> too. We'll ship those out in a panda mailer. You don't have any narwhal mailers? No. We no, should. <laughs> I, I'm trying to be good and not order too much more mailers at the moment until we. <laughs> I ordered around like a thousand something at once and we've been going through them, but. Still probably have 300 or so. So I'm trying to use those before I <laughs> order any more. Um, but yeah, it's kind of killing me because shipping hips new. Print that they came out with yesterday, I really want to get 
I might get like a 50 pack or something. So. Uh, or I can just get through all the ones we have and then yeah. it, so. All right, I sold these dance go. They're like, these are called the Vivian Wedge. Uh, I picked these up at the bin, so $1.80 into them. Sold them for $34.76 plus shipping. So love bin shoes. Nice. I think I might have picked those up when I was with five resellers up in Denver. Mm. But yeah, luckily I stayed around one round after they all left and finally got some shoes. I didn't get shoes the whole time. Just it's, it's cutthroat up there, man. <laughs> yeah, the bins Especially can be. Especially for the shoes, really. Yeah. If you're shoe selling, if you're looking for shoes, the Benz is, it's a, it's a cutthroat game. It depends on where, like, I'll be watching other videos and people, I'm like, what Benz is this? It looks like nobody's inside there, but ours are always crazy. Yeah. You can rarely even get a cart. Even now in Colorado Springs, it used to be less busy, but now it's really busy. Yeah. So I don't make it there a ton anymore, but I do like going. And so even saying that it's very cutthroat, like we've still found shoes yeah. that people have left behind. It's just like. Yeah. A lot of people go there with friends and then they like kind of yeah. get to that really fast and like their friends are all like kind of blocking it together right. so they can grab them. So yeah, I usually go alone. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm lucky if I get a pair or two, which honestly is still really good. Yeah. I mean, like those I profited probably $30 off of, which right. is really nice. All right. I did sell these Tiva sandals. These ones I picked up at a normal thrift for $3.99. Sold them for 20 plus ship. I can normally get more on Tiva, but I... You're not gonna be able to see it, but like these have like you see the ridges in them. Yeah. Well, there was like I washed them in the washing machine, which did get them quite a bit cleaner. But there's still some dirt in the ridges, so I was like trying to pick it out with like um, something sharp, which is not smart. Oh, you marred it up. Yeah, and I kind of like made it all weird in a spot here, which I pointed out obviously. But for that reason, I just wanted to kind of sell them. So right. Twenty dollars plus ship. Happy with that. I'm still making I think twelve, thirteen bucks off those. Right. Those are going out in a pattern flabbered, I believe. That's the floor. Yeah. It's, I can't wait because when we when we do the new flooring up here, because I did finish downstairs, um, but we're gonna hold off on here until it's I don't know how long. Because well, <laughs> it, it, up here it's gonna really stink because we have to move all this yeah. stuff, and there's just a lot to move, and I don't want to disrupt the actually. business. So I haven't really figured out how. But right here in this part of the floor here, it it dips down and so i know there's going to be some repair work i've got to pull up the subfloor probably sister some joists in and all this kind of stuff but i'm going to get rid of that squeak that squeak <laughs> drives me crazy and i want to get rid of it and then we're going to move i'm just kidding yeah <laughs> i feel like every time we do like good work on any of our house yeah, then we're like, ah, well, I'm done with it, out of here. Our old house, Chris basically completely renovated himself. We flipped it while we lived um, in it, yeah. Yeah, not because we were trying to flip it, but just happened that we got pregnant for the first time and wanted to move into something bigger, so. Yeah. But it was sad, because he like spent like years working on it, and then I was like, okay, <laughs> it's nice, it's great, and then we moved. <laughs> anyway. But hey, we moved into this house, yeah. so this we moved house. up. Yeah. All right, um, this is a Denver Broncos vintage Lee Sport Tag sweatshirt. I picked up for $4.99 and accepted a $25 offer on this. Buyer also paid shipping. And that I'm gonna put in a mailer, just a larger mailer. Let's go on UPS though. All right, and this is, oh, I did not write where. Sometimes when it's a viewer sale, I get distracted writing their name and then forget to write the location. Mm. How did it I actually accidentally cut the video there, so we uh, we are looking for, well, Kathy <laughs> forgot to write down the, yeah. the location, so. It was a viewer sale. Well, this person said they've watched our video in the past, so I don't know if they're a viewer all a the time. A current viewer? But if you are, <laughs> Julianne, thank you. And your shoes are in box CL. <laughs> are some Patagonia mint green like flat. I've had these well over a year. I think it's crazy. Like they've had so much attention, interest, literally like no offers or anything pretty much the whole time. So I don't know. I would probably pick them up again even still, but I did pay $8.99 for them and they had price dropped all the way down to 20 on Mercari. Mm. And then Julie Ann bought them outright at 20 plus shipping. So awesome. I'm only about doubling my money here, but I'm fine with that, especially. Yeah seeing as they sat for about a year, but 
They were waiting really for you, nice Julianne. Shoes. Like, I don't, they're Patagonia, <laughs> yeah. but also they're just, I really love this color for spring, summer. Right. I don't know. So thank you so much, yeah. Julianne. Julianne, thank you so much for that support. Put them in one of my favorite magical mailers. Box DD, that's over here today, which is good. Another personal item. This is one of my kids' Quicksilver shackets. I bought it off Kitizen. I did not go back and check exactly how much I paid, but it's only for 15 plus ships, so probably again breaking close to even. And that is under a pound, so it's gonna go out in the house miller. All right, DF. Over here for everything. I feel like there's another thing in DF too. Yes. All right. First thing was these Adidas. These are the Terex. So I think these are just like more like a hiking shoe by Adidas. Picked these up for $9.99 at Goodwill. Sold them for $35 on Posh. That was an offer I accepted. Those will just go out in a medium flat rate. And, and this is a Duluth Trading Company vest um, that I found at the bin. So I had a dollar one into this that day and sold it for 29 plus ship on Facebook. So sweet. Yeah, that was really good. We'll put a house color on that. And very happy with that. And then top shelf bogs boots. So like a camo. These were in pretty rough shape, but bogs, I just love bogs. So they were only priced at $2.99 too. So it was pretty easy to just take the chance on them. Yeah. You can see they got scuffing on the toes, kind of all over the print. And then the heels. The heels, yeah. I mean, I did show this, you know, and I mentioned the, the heels on the bogs are so thick. Like, yeah, that's worn down, but the mm -hmm. rubber underneath is still so thick. Like, you'd have to wear these probably for years longer to actually make a hole all the way through. So these are going to last the kid at least a few more years, even in this condition. And I sold them for $35.10 plus shipping. So three into 35. It is free shipping, though, because they sold on Kitizen. So nine fifty dollars towards shipping. I think I'm profiting about $19 on those. Okay. Oh yeah, and then I will, well, we have a box here probably, because Kitizen says not to use the free boxes, so right. either use one of these or just like a recycled box for for Kitizen over a pound. Turn that stuff. over? Is that torn up on the other side? Oh, it's, it's just like got a, a random piece. <laughs> yeah, just got a little piece left over. It's about to be angry because we've had <laughs> eBay boxes come messed up yeah. in the past. So, so that was it. No other sales yet. Not yet. So we're gonna get this stuff packed up and then we'll check back in with you guys. All right, guys, got a pretty decent sized stack going out today. What do you think about that, Reese? Then it's kind of early. Yeah, it's only. We usually ship at like three. Yeah. And I feel like a sale almost always comes in in like the two to three o'clock hour, and then another one in the three to four o'clock hour. But yeah, we were uh, we're gonna take these off and go get some lunch. Yeah, <laughs> some... It's our first real break in the last seven days, and then it's the weekend again, and then Monday. I'm pretty sure they don't have school, so. Yeah, and I did want to address we did not actually do a live stream last night with the crazy week just the day got away from us <laughs> tired, and by the and time chris didn't have much of a chance to yeah try to kind of figure out why it keeps crashing because it doesn't like i've been using it all right. week and it hasn't crashed so it has to be like we're doing too much at once i don't know but yeah but have... it's weird because first couple streams were fine no yeah, crashes and then <laughs> so hopefully by next week yeah hopefully um I don't really know what to, I, I've kind of looked in at the crash logs. It's just, I don't want to get into it much, but I just can't figure it out. So, and without going out and getting a whole new computer, which I don't really want to do right now. Um, I don't know. We might just have to go with it. I don't know. <laughs> Any uh, IT tech wizards out there? Can can you tell me why my computer's crashing and not telling me why it's crashing? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I really need. <laughs> but we're going to take this stuff off to the post office, go get some lunch, and 
come back, get the kids from school. I got a video to edit. We still have quite a bit of work to do today. As you can see, we've got this whole table. Got a lot of stuff we got to measure, bag, put away. I mean, it looks worse than it is. Yeah. This is stuff I just need to photograph, but it's on new tag, so that's super easy photograph pile. This was personal kid stuff that I just haven't put away because I need to type it in the spreadsheet, but yeah. it's all bagged. Which we do get the question quite a bit. How do you figure out your cost of goods? Mm -hmm. I refer everybody to Mark II, or Not Your Dad's CPA. He's a CPA accountant, but he's also a reseller, and he has a YouTube channel. So go check out his channel. He recently put up, I think a few months ago maybe, this tax season. He does videos every tax season of how to price your personal items or how to figure out your cost of goods, cost of goods sold, because it's not as easy as just yeah. <laughs> saying something. You know, we, we do buy things for our kids, and we do keep the receipts for the most part. Yeah. For the most part. Like yeah. kid is in and find it. Usually when right. I'm doing a video, I don't want to spend the five, ten minutes when I'm doing it. But. Right. But if you're selling stuff that you weren't reselling at the time, you didn't think uh, that you were going to sell it, and it's five years later, go check out his video. He shows you how to figure that market value out. So. Yep. And then this pile I just typed in today is stuff I've bought over the last week. So this is a lot of really nice, easy stuff to list. And then this is what I've already photographed and we just need to measure. So these are probably what's going live today. Yeah. So yeah. And then I also got all those shoes. At least typed in. We just got to get numbers off. But yeah, so those all need to be listed. Pretty much be some shoes and some retail arbitrage. Some retail <laughs> arbitrage. Stuff, so. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, what do you think, Reese? Oh, and I haven't missed a day of 15 at all this month. Yeah, this month has been Almost great. Over. Even though it's been <laughs> It's like the first time ever. <laughs> yeah, it has felt really busy. And I've done, like, you know, extra personal ones sometimes, which I have a lot more I need to do. But yeah. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I mean, I'm sad I still don't have a draft bank, but I'm happy with where we're headed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we are going to cut it here. I think I might have said that about five minutes ago, <laughs> but we are cutting it here now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the amazing viewer support today, guys. We do greatly appreciate that. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.